watch administrative. The team's journey to this part of Manso and its forest saw scenes of destruction. Abandoned pits and mining settlements dot the road leading into the remaining part of the forest. After dodging water-filled, dangerous open pits, we arrived at this mining settlement deep within the forest enclave. Seven Chinese nationals were quickly located and arrested. Leader of the team conducted a search room by room. There were indications of military presence. From what we are seeing here, it looks like uh, some, there are some military men involved in this whole uh, activity in this uh, forest. If we call, uh, looking at their uniforms, even some have names on them, but uh, we did not meet any of them. But uh, looking at it, I think uh, the military were the people protecting them here to do this illegal job. Okay, so w what are we doing with the uniforms? First of all, we need to retrieve them and then ascertain as to who sanctioned their duties here. So um, these are military accoutrements. Uh, you can find names on them. This one is Kamel. This one is Kamel. We have the other one, Amweni, on, on this one. And these are, uh, as uh, security men have been able to authenticate, these are quality Ghana Army uniforms, indicating that we may have uh, some military involvement here in this uh, site. In the midst of our search, a young military officer drove into the compound in a Tundra vehicle. Yes, sir. We will see a lot of people. Obi to say. Eh, eh. So just mama. David. He started making some calls to his superiors. I will do the staff sergeant. I am this, sir. We are here at uh, this thing. Uh, Tonto Krum. The, the whole duties and there are some policemen and uh, media be here within the next 30 minutes the whole place was crawling with over 30 angry armed military men anger turned into heated verbal exchanges and near fisticuffs <laughs> A group of physically built men with known faces from the Delta Force group also joined them. The Chinese were released. Our news team was prevented from filming anything from this time onwards as they overpowered the task force and took over. Things got physical as the macho men assaulted my driver, forcibly took the keys to our vehicle and struggled with a camera technician for the camera. Under the watch of the military men, they broke our windscreen and side mirrors. Owner of the site, Donald Ntua, ordered the military to delete all footages from our camera and our personal phones. But we managed to retrieve items from our formatted card. It took the intervention of the Ministry of Environment and the Military High Command to get us released. The Minister for Environment told our news team, quote, Heritage Imperial only has a prospecting license and so it is mining illegally in the forest. He is supposed to be drilling, testing samples to be presented in the process of getting a mining permit. But Donald told our news team he has all the documents giving him full access to mine in the forest. But in all this, the best judge is the environment, which lies unclaimed with huge gullies and pits. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaredonko, Kumasi.